gentlemen, congratulations. The two of you have submitted yourselves a spot in the final round of our competition. Now, we are sending you back to your home forges to build an iconic weapon from history. And that weapon is... Oh, sweet. The Polish Warhammer. The Polish Warhammer is an Eastern European weapon used during the 16th and 17th centuries. Featuring a blunt hammer head on one side and a sharpened spike on the other, they were both designed to inflict deadly blows and piercing stabs through an opponent's armor. It was an effective, lethal weapon used on horseback and in hand-to-hand -hand combat. The Polish Warhammer was a pivotal weapon during the Battle of Vienna, which began the decline of the Ottoman Empire. You guys have four days. Good luck. We'll see you then. Sweet. I'm Mike Baldino. I'm 30 years old. I'm a high school technology teacher and a part-time bladesmith. The thing I love about bladesmithing is that you're always pushing yourself. You're always trying to learn something new. I'm super excited to be here. It's been a dream line for a long time. So now I'm working on the hammer head billet. Everything else is solid underneath. Now I'm going to take these two billets down to the grinder, and I'm going to just fuller them out and lose some weight. I decided I'm going to harden and heat treat the handle of the hammer before I join the head to it. It's so long and skinny, I'm worried about it bending during the test. Pray nothing warps. If it twists or warps or bends, there's not much steel to take away to straighten it back out afterwards. All right, I'm going to go for it. Oh. Straight as could be. Quench went smoothly. Yeah, this came out so sweet. I'm just going to oil it up and then give it a good test. I think we're good to go. But I figured we might as well test it out on a uh, door. And it goes straight through. The head is still firmly attached. There was no damage to the weapon at all. My name is Josh Fisher. I'm 26 years old. I've been a full-time bladesmith for over a year now. At my forge, I work with the Wounded Warrior Project, teaching the veterans how to make knives or other blacksmithing projects. The biggest concern for today is getting the eye of the hammer punched. If the eye ends up being crooked or doesn't punch cleanly, then I'll never get a good handle fit. It might come loose. There we go. So getting the eye punched went pretty good. I'm really happy with it. And it's ready for the quench. This is really critical for the strength of this. And repeat that for the spike. See that skating on the head? Skating on that spike, just what I want. We've got the hammer almost completely done. Before I do all the final cleaning and polishing on it, I figured I'd do a couple tests with it. It'll kill. It feels great to have made it this far. It was a really tight competition up to this point, and I'd really like to see it stay that way. Bladesmiths, welcome to the kill test. To find out what kind of damage your weapon will do, I will deliver some lethal blows on this ballistics dummy. Now, I am looking to see how your weapons will crush and pierce the armor that our ballistics dummy is wearing. Josh, you're up first. You ready for this? Yep. All right, Josh, first up, the handle construction. Your leather wrapping that you have here does give me a very good grip, and I'll need that because for a one-handed weapon, it's a very heavy weapon. That spike penetrates deep into the chain mail. Your hammer feet crushes the helmet, and it went deep into this ballistic stun. Overall, sir, your weapon, it will kill. Mike, your turn, sir, you ready? Yep. Let's do this. All right, Mike, first up, your handle construction is a little bit on the blocky side for me, but your spike pierces nicely into this ballistics dummy. Your hammerhead, the crushing blow is going to the heart, push some chain mail into the heart. It crushes the helmet and overall, sir, the will keel. All right, gentlemen, it's time for the strength test, our statue smash. 
This test is all about what you, those statues do to your hammers, not what your hammers do to those statues. Josh, you're up first. You ready? Yep. All right, Josh, first off, your construction design is really beautiful, but you've taken abandoned that head. Everything's still tight, which is great. It's just the weight is on the extreme side, but it held up, well done. All right, Mike, you ready? I'm ready, we'll see if the hammer is. <laughs> yes, we will. All right, a couple things going on, Mike. The way these are inset, they're actually kind of sharp. So every impact, literally, you can see the little raised spot. The Damascus pattern's fantastic. The chef's still spot on straight. No damage on the spike, but the head's loose. Where this was all smooth, I can now feel a rim. Overall, for this test, it held up well. Good job. All right, Bladesmiths, this is the Leather Bag Smash and Bash. Now, I'm going to take your weapons, and I'm going to see if they can smash and bash through these double-layered leather bags. Josh, you're up first. You ready for this? Yep. All right, let's do this. All right, Josh, you wrap your handle nicely so where I can have good retention on a very heavy weapon like this. That weight lends itself to crush right inside the bag to smash it, and your pick right here penetrates deeply. Overall, your weapon, it will cut, smash, and bash, or anything you want it to do. Mike, your turn, so you ready? Yep. All right, let's do this. All right, Mike, let's talk about your weapon here. Initial hit, letting the weapon do the work, not so much on the impact, but the lightness of your weapon on the second strike, I can continuously deliver smashes and bashes right into the leather bag. When it comes to smashing and bashing and maybe cutting, great job. Thanks. Well, gentlemen, you both showed your skill and your craftsmanship throughout the entire competition, but only one of you guys is gonna be leaving here $10,000 richer carrying the title of Forge and Fire Champion. Today, the Forge and Fire Champion is... Josh, congratulations. You're the Forge and Fire Champion. Mike, unfortunately, your hammer's not coming out with the win today. I'm gonna have to ask you to please step off the Forge floor. Champion. I'm a little disheartened to hear that I'm not the winner, but at the same time, I still feel like I lived up to my dream. And I'm glad that the competition was so tight the whole way. Josh is a great guy. I look forward to seeing what he does in the future. Josh, you are the newest Forge of Fire champion. You're going to be walking out of here with a check for $10,000. How do you feel? Amazing. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't even think of what to say. I'm just so excited. This is an amazing opportunity. And to come out of it knowing that I won is just huge. 